Hello and welcome. In this video I'll show you some interesting chat GPT prompts and responses. Instead of using the official website where you need to register, giving away your data, you can head on pizzagpt.it. Pizza GPT is a free service that interfaces to chat GPT 3.5 via APIs. However, unlike the official chat GPT, the free version of Pizza GPT does not remember the context. Each prompt will have one response, and you cannot, for example, ask the language model to expand a previous answer. Nonetheless, it's interesting to see how this AI behaves. Let's start with some simple arithmetics and see how it measures up. Notice how it simplifies the equations. Let's now pass to some coding exercises. I tested its string inversion capabilities. Let's compare this last result with a real Python environment. Now, I haven't told ChatGPT that the prompt is in Python, but it should be able to deduce it. Now we'll see if ChatGPT can create some non-functional code by asking it explicitly. At first, I wasn't expecting to see that big text in bold. I think it does that because comments in Python use the hash character, and Pizza GPT interprets it as a markdown header. Anyway, the last Python instruction is certainly wrong, so we can say that it works. Now, I'll prompt for a non-functioning C program. This time, the language model doesn't want to cooperate. When asked to do a non-functioning shell program, it elaborates a broken solution by putting spaces near the equals operator. In shell languages, when assigning a value to a variable, you cannot put spaces. I then asked several other questions and I got the I can't answer because it goes against my programming nonsense. Let's now pass to some controversial prompts and see what happens. You can ask more delicate questions and receive questionable responses. You can also ask the AI to give you misinformation or misleading information. Depending on your choice of words, the language model will be more or less inclined to answer. If you want direct answers, try adding these two words at the end of the prompt, i.e. without commenting. If you need to ask a delicate question, try using a paraphrasis. Don't be too direct. As you can imagine, there are many other interesting prompts to try. The bottom line is, have fun and don't take the responses of these language models too seriously. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.